Hi, Raimi. I have a question for you related to the to the idea of think and grow rich. You talk a lot in your book about almost rethinking. So not just thinking, but actually rethinking, having the courage to challenge your assumptions. Um, and just would love to hear you go a bit deeper into that. As, as, or how do you decide when to stick to your convictions and try whatever versus let reality point you to the fact that maybe one or, or more of your assumptions was not correct and that you need to rethink everything from scratch? Okay, uh, that's a good question. See, my goal, I have a, one big goal, uh, is to become the richest man in the world, wherever the, the, the goal is. And then you find how to do it, the actions to do it. And again, I use, it's very important, my, my life and my principle is more is lost through indecision than the wrong decision. So I live with, live with that, it's in Think and Grow Rich. So when I decide to do something, like I usually don't know the business I'm in until that very same day, because I said, aha, this is a great idea. I'm going to start right away and I start right away. So I start those businesses, I go through the actions. And then as I see that, that maybe the direction I went, you know, it was, was a right concept, but I'm going in the wrong direction. Just like when I was saying, when I was started a company called Yayo, I wanted to, when right here was very popular, just started out, I wanted to create a meta search app like Kayak, where you have all the Uber, Lyft, tax all in one app and everything. So, so I'm pushing real hard, raised money, building the app, but at the end, Uber and Lyft, they want to share their APIs. So I had to now think, okay, I still have the right concept in the right industry, want to be successful. I need to shift what do people always think, think need and filling it. What does Uber and uh, Lyft need and what needs I, I could fill also for other people. And that's when I came up where there's a lot of uh, people who are uh, underserved or subprime that couldn't get a car, but they needed a job. They needed a driver at Uber and Uber needed drivers. So I started buying cars renting these cars to Uber and Lyft, uh, uh, people to, to drive for Uber and Lyft, and I build that to a company I took public. So it just really just, we're, we're, you, you have to jump in. You can't, you can't plan everything. And then when you find that, okay, there's a roadblock because, you're, because you have knowledge, you, you see what's going on, you don't change your ultimate goal, but you need to shift and change things around because, you, because if not, you're going to procrastinate. If you want to plan everything out to be absolutely perfect, you're going to plan it out for the business plan that's so big and everything, you're still going to have stuff that's going to come up that you didn't even plan for. So, so it's really a lot better just to go ahead and jump in and start make the mistakes, shift, but don't get, don't give up. So one of the things I've, I've never ever giving up as part of the, the things that I talk about. So you, you, even like when, when you think of uh, the Churchill, I was at never, ever, ever give up, but he was fighting the Germans, but, but he had to change his tactics a lot of times. So even though he didn't give up, he's going to beat the Germans, you know, uh, you know, his air force was failure or he, he sent a ship to go get his men that were stranded somewhere else. He had to shift his strategies a lot during the whole thing, but he still said never, ever give up. And he was the only uh, European country that didn't fall to, to Hitler. So, so it's kind of the same thing. He had this one big goal, He's going to defeat the Germans. He's not going to give up to the Germans. But he shifted his strategies a lot when when Hitler was shifting. So you just have to look at it kind of that way. Just shift as you go along, but keep your goals.